My grandma, and maybe yours too, lived through the horrors of the Great Depression and two world wars. Times were hard, money was scarce, and sometimes foods were rationed. They simply could not afford to throw away slightly stale groceries or toss a recipe that wasn't turning out right. Here are 15 of my frugal grandma's secret to saving money every day. Make every penny count. I tend to be frugal when it comes to big ticket purchases, yet I can be wasteful with small expenses like a movie rental or an iced coffee. My grandmother taught me that no matter the amount, spending money carelessly should always be avoided. She instilled in me the importance of being wise with my finances, even down to the smallest denominations. To illustrate, during a visit to Aldi, the cashier proposed a paper bag for 10 cents, to which my grandma exclaimed, don't be wasteful with your money. She proceeded to retrieve a box lid from the store's entrance and neatly arranged her items inside it. Cook more at home. Whenever we spend time together, my grandmother usually prepares our meals, and she even goes the extra mile by making a large batch of popcorn before we head out to the drive-in movie theater, so we don't have to settle for the artificial kind. She taught me how to make popcorn using traditional methods. Make people eat less meat. By serving up salad and bread during dinner at grandma's house, dinner usually follows a traditional format. A crisp iceberg lettuce salad, paired with a meat and vegetable dish, and a substantial crusty bread loaf. My grandmother's experience of cooking for her husband and two sons taught her the importance of avoiding excessive meat consumption, as second or third servings can quickly add up. To ensure everyone stays full, satisfied, and within budget, she serves bread with the meal, which provides a more filling, lower calorie, and less expensive option. Stick with tried and tested recipes. My grandma prefers to stick with her tried and true recipes. This approach not only saves money on wasted ingredients due to a recipe failure or a meal that no one likes, but it also saves time. She's so familiar with her recipes that she could probably make chicken and mayonnaise in her sleep. When making burgers and meatballs, add some breadcrumbs to it. Leftover bread slices are repurposed by toasting and crushing them into breadcrumbs. These crumbs can then be added to meatballs and burgers to increase their volume and reduce the amount of meat required. Additionally, the crumbs help bind the meat mixture together. Add water to liquid soap. You can make your liquid hand or dish soap last longer by diluting it with water, and it will still produce plenty of bubbles. This trick is particularly useful when your soap dispenser is nearly empty because adding water makes it easier to use up the last of the soap. Make sure to really save everything. Consider the various disposable items we use in our daily lives, such as plastic containers, utensils, aluminum foil, baggies, grocery bags, and even paper towels. If you were to open my grandma's fridge, you would notice an assortment of containers, including margarine, yogurt, and cottage cheese. However, rather than finding new products, you would likely discover leftover food of some sort. Sheets of aluminum foil are carefully wiped with a dishcloth and neatly refolded for future use, while plastic utensils are washed and reused multiple times. Any paper towels used for cleaning hands or countertops are left to dry over the back of a chair before being used again. If you didn't stain your napkin during breakfast, you can expect to see it on the lunch table. By practicing these habits, my grandma saves both money and resources. Make use of every ingredient. My grandma has a trick up her sleeve when it comes to using up leftover egg whites. She makes meringues with berries. And when she has leftover yolks, she puts them to good use by making omelets. While I like to mix in some whole eggs, my brother has survived the experience of eating an omelet made only with yolks. Use bar soap. Reduce your expenses on expensive hand and face soaps by switching to bar soap. It is a long-lasting option, and you will also be reducing your plastic waste. Stock up your pantry. Don't be surprised if you find a pantry stocked with dozens of cans of corn, several bags of potato chips, jars of salsa, and even huge tubs of coffee when you visit my grandma's house. While some might call it hoarding, my grandma sees it as a smart move. She knows what she and her family like to eat and buys those items in bulk when they go on sale. With many pantry items having expiration dates that are years away, she sees no reason to pay full price for them later. To further stretch her grocery budget, she freezes meat, including deli meat, and even milk when she can. Use olive oil for drizzling only, not cooking. 
Grandma avoids the trend of using extra virgin olive oil excessively in cooking and instead opts for cheaper cooking oils such as peanut oil. She saves olive oil for situations where she can truly savor its flavor, such as drizzling it onto toast, meat, or salad. On expiration dates. My grandma has a unique approach to expiration dates that might seem odd to some. She doesn't always abide by them and will even use ketchup or other condiments that have technically expired. While we've never experienced any negative effects, I should note that this habit does come with some risk. She's even been known to push the limits with milk, which is definitely not for everyone. So, if you're not willing to take a chance, it's probably best to play it safe and follow the expiration dates. Use newspapers for cleaning to save money. Surprisingly, using old newspapers instead of paper towels to clean windows or glassware leaves them sparkling and free of streaks. Repurpose old items. Don't throw away old clothing and sheets. Repurpose them into rags instead. Cut the larger items into smaller squares and use socks to dust by sliding your hand inside. The larger sheets can be used as drop cloths for painting or for various kid projects such as tents, forts, or togas. You can also use old towels to pad a dog's bed as a makeshift picnic blanket or to protect car seats from spills during road trips. Enjoy life's simple pleasures. It doesn't cost much. My grandma has a few small rituals that bring her joy without breaking the bank. In the morning, she savors a cup of coffee on the deck. Sometimes she'll visit the library or buy some fresh fruit from the nearby farm stand in the afternoon. And in the evening, she loves to unwind with a cocktail while watching Jeopardy. It's important to take a moment to appreciate your home and indulge in simple pleasures that don't cost much. If you like today's video, be sure to give us a like and subscribe for more content like this.